Hello and welcome back. So, an inside day. As we expected, the prices now opened and closed at the lower range of the previous day. Uh, although we are still in an uptrend, but uh, you know, an inside day after you know, a uh, sort of selling day like this is you know, it's it's bearish. Why it's bearish because you know, uh, when this day was forming yesterday you know we have seen that at the end of the day you know the buyers did stepped up and some buying came and you know which you know closed the prices to you know 50 percent of the bar which means that you know near the support area buyers did came up and you know some buying interest was there now after this selling day we have an inside day a narrow range bar uh, you know which means that all the buying which we have seen yesterday was kind of negated uh, that being said uh, you know if this candle closed at its low or you know it has taken out the low of the previous day i would be you know more bearish than you know what you know it did today so uh, now before we go ahead and uh, you know analyze uh, the, the daily chart and you know build some scenario for tomorrow Let's see what has happened in the you know intraday charts. What has you know how the day panned out uh, today. So uh, if you remember, I I mentioned uh, in the last video that uh, you know there could be a couple of scenarios. One would be that prices will gap up and open here, and they you know the selling will start and they will come down. The other one could be that prices will open at the lower uh, end and you know they will stabilize and then we can go long at the appropriate pattern right when all the time frames including the daily will you know uh, come in the alignment. Now if you haven't seen that last video I will give the link uh, somewhere at the end of this video you will go and you can watch it and you know uh, i think that analysis was spot on because today prices did open you know near the lower range and you know they spend some time here they stabilize and they give couple of opportunities to go long now uh, what are those opportunities what are those you know areas where we can you know take the long position now in this five minute chart uh, five minute is you know my uh, favorite uh, intraday time frame where i you know usually take the position uh, so here if you can see i have marked this green arrow and this was the first bar where you know we could have gone long now you may ask that why this bar because you know when this bar was formed we have falling 50 and 20 MAs and those MAs you know uh, they show you know the uh, downtrend well the answer is yes then why should we go long here so the first reason is uh, if you can see when prices came here they came here and stabilized you know they came here you know at the at the location where you know the prices stabilized previously you know so when this bar formed it has you know created a support area here and if you can see this bar it 
closed at its high and which means that it formed a wide range bullish bar now where we can go you know long where could the entry where could we can take the entry uh the place would be you know uh, above this bar so this was the first opportunity where we could have gone long then we have the second opportunity which was here now why here because this bar has you know taken out the highs so this was a breakout bar and it has you know it closed at its high it has taken out it has cleared all the resistance area this was the second opportunity then we have the late day third opportunity which was here now uh, this pattern is called as bullish 180 reversal which means that this bar has completely taken out this red bar and you know from there the prices have gone up now <clears throat> most of the time uh, when a signal bar generates we can take the entry above the signal bar so in this case we you know we could have gone long above here above this bar uh, at this signal bar we could have gone long above this signal bar <clears throat> excuse me so uh, as i you know mentioned in my last video that you know if if the appropriate pattern you know will come up and if all the, the time frames you know come in alignment we could have gone long we could have taken the we could have take the opportunity to the long side and that what has happened today so that said uh, in the daily now uh, what should we expect you know tomorrow or how things are going to come in a coming days so as i said uh, uh, you know the as of now things are looking little bearish after this selling day and then the followed day so uh, if you can just you know uh, analyze this after this gap up which is this bar you know when prices you know stabilize here near this support area it formed a pivot and then we have the gap up bar after this gap up you no know, we did not go any far you know from this breakout bar that you know shows that this bar eventually became a mini breakout failure bar failure bar now uh, after this high you know we have you know not crossed it uh, so the next day was you know uh, the high was below this one and then we have seen the selling day and now we have an inside bar which is at the lower end of the selling bar so uh, what should we expect now now looking at the situation uh, we could have you know either seen either see uh, open tomorrow you know at the you know uh, below this bar it could have come down to the major support area which is you know around uh, the 17300 level and you know then we might see some selling i'm sorry then we might see some uh, buying here and prices will you know again uh, go up uh, if we see the hourly chart uh, you know after uh, prices stabilize and they came back up it it is taking resistance here resistance you know at 17700 17700 level so if you remember in my previous video i mentioned that once a support is broken it act as a resistance so that's what we have seen today so 17700 level is in daily is somewhere here so uh, as of now it looks that you know prices either you know could open at the low at the lower range and might come down to the support and then we might see some buying or if 
you know it will uh, open and you know take out the high of this inside range and you know close somewhere above that would mean that you know all this selling has been negated and then we can again you know think of going long so uh, as of now uh, it's a wait and watch kind of a situation so we should tomorrow we should see that how things will you know where it will open and uh, if it is a if it is going to be bullish it should take out the high of you know today's narrow range bar uh, one concern though uh, is the rising vix which is now 18 however it will not create much of an impact because i have seen vix you know around uh, 30 35 level and prices were still going up but you no know, it could be a beginning of uh, you know a bearish a bearish scenario so we should be uh, you know ready with our tools and uh, based on what markets will show us we should be ready to you know take the action accordingly so uh, that being said uh, 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 you know uh, we see that what uh, tomorrow will bring and then we will act accordingly Till then, if you have any questions, you can always ask, you can email me, you can ask your doubts, your questions in the comment box. If uh, there, there are any stocks in your portfolio in which you want me to do the analysis, please, you know, uh, either email me if you are comfortable or just mention them in the comment box. So, uh, if you have, uh, you know, enjoyed the video, if you, you know, like the content, if you like the analysis, Please subscribe the channel, please press the bell icon, do share your feedback, share it with your friends. Till then, bye. Thank you.